the pro-choice communities, and they've been in and around the Capitol in Georgia since day one, either defending or trying to get the heartbeat bill overturned. 11 Alliance Hope Ford joins us live in the studio, and Hope, you spoke with uh, both sides just hours ago, right? Yeah, and both were overcome with emotions, albeit different ones. One thinks this will save thousands of lives. One thinks more people will die. The clock ticked slowly in the post-Roe world for news on what would happen with Georgia's six-week abortion ban. We have waited so long for this bill. When the Supreme Court draft was leaked, um, we knew this was coming. Suzanne Guy, pro-life and longtime supporter of what she calls common sense legislation. It is going to save thousands of lives of innocent children and also spare thousands of women and men the regret of abortion. Tamara Stevens, pro-choice, longtime opponent of what she calls a dystopian law. There are women who will quickly choose to have an abortion the minute that they find out they're pregnant under six weeks that may have chosen otherwise if they had some time to process it. I talked to Guy and Stevens before, back in 2020, when Georgia's heartbeat bill was struck down in federal court. At the time, Guy, heartbroken. Stevens, overjoyed. Now the decision and their reactions reversed, but their beliefs remain the same. We know that it won't stop abortions. We know that it won't. Um, it will just stop legal, safe abortions. No abortion is ever safe because the goal of the abortion is to end the life of one of those human beings. There's two things Guy and Stevens both believe. One, the next part of the fight will happen at the polls. Republicans need to fully get behind Governor Kemp. People that might have previously identified as Republican voters, I think there's going to be a lot of quiet crossover. The other thing they both believe is in getting resources to whoever is now in need. We help women get their rent paid for. We throw baby showers. There are so many things. We help try to find them a car if they need a car. We've got to fund people's travel to other states. Um, we've got to do whatever it takes um, to ensure that the women of Georgia have the support and the access to abortion that they need. Now, Stevens is a Planned Parenthood escort and says women are already being forced to cancel their appointments. Guy runs an organization and says their goal is to support women before, during, and after pregnancy.